Hello everyone, welcome to the tech adventure. Today we are going to be installing reshade shader software into Roblox player. So let's get started. First you need to install the reshade application. Link to download reshade in the description. Go to reshade.me. Scroll down to the bottom of the website and click download. After reshade is downloaded open the application. Press select game. Now press browse. Go to the Roblox versions folder. Double click on Roblox Studio Launcher Beta. Select OpenGL as the rendering of PIs. Select the standard effects pack and Sweet FX Shader Collection. Press OK. After the standard effects pack has been downloaded, tick all the Sweet FX files and press OK. Now you have to download seal shader presets. Link to download seal in the description. Unzip the zip file and locate the seal reshade folder. Open the seal shader setup file. Accept the agreement, then check all the presets. After downloading finishes exit the setup and load Roblox. When you start Roblox Reshade will appear inside of Roblox. Press home button to start Reshade. When you first load it you have to press home, but after that you have to press shift F2, or if that doesn't work try function shift F2. You can do the tutorial or skip it. Lots of options will appear. Without individually clicking it and trying out the different settings using a preset is easier. Click on the top blue bar where the presets are in. There are a few presets to choose from. You can later download more presets or make your own ones. You need a higher end PC to run shaders at ultra, but if you have a more mid range PC, you can run medium or max with little or a bit of lag. If your PC is in the lower range, then you can run it at low settings. Keep the Roblox graphics setting to about 8. Playing more action games like Phantom Forces or Arsenal with shaders on will definitely need a high end PC. My PC is a mid-range one, so I can run up to medium settings with some amount of lag. Most of the time the world around starts getting shiny and dark. That is the look of this Roblox preset. Sadly there are not many presets for Roblox, so you have to tweak the setting yourself to get the best look. Now I will be showing some of the presets in seal shaders.
Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See you in the next video.